Edinburgh, the safest city to live in the UK. The recent poll among those living in Britain produced Edinburgh as the safest city to live in the UK. The capital of Scotland is located in the Lothian region. It's one of the 32 council areas of Scotland and historically part of the county of Midlothian. Before 1921, the area used to be known as Edinburghshire. The city, which has long been a centre of education, taking big leads in subjects such as literature, medicine, philosophy and Scots law, sciences and engineering, is the second largest financial centre in the United Kingdom. Thanks to the city's historical and cultural attractions, it is the second most visited tourist destination in the UK, attracting 4.9 million visitors yearly. Since 2018, 2.4 million of these visits have been from overseas. The official estimates had the population of Edinburgh at 488,050 in 2016 for the Edinburgh locality and 518,500 in 2019 for the City of Edinburgh council area. But in 2014, the wider population estimate was 1,339,380. So how safe is Edinburgh, really? In the poll I earlier referred to, those living and working in the capital city of Scotland feel safer than those living in any other city in the UK, the likes of Cambridge and Southampton. The different factors and aspects of life were considered before the decision was reached. These included crime rates, ease of travel, the responsiveness of security agencies, access to medical care, tourists' welfare, terrorism scares, political stability, epidemics and natural disasters, and when all these were considered together, Edinburgh residents feel the safest. Crime rates in Edinburgh The poll, earlier referred to, asked the people across the UK about their experiences of crime. From the results tallied, 81% of residents said they have never been a victim of crime in the last year, and 79% said they have neither seen, neither a crime committed, nor a victim of a violent crime. About 82% of Edinburghers say they don't feel threatened by any crime in their neighbourhoods. Also, 92% of them feel satisfied with living in Edinburgh and are not likely to leave soon. Only 75% of Londoners feel the same about London, according to the reports. This is just to show how comfortable the locals feel in their own homes. In another poll carried out to launch Murder Town, the new crime and investigation docuseries, less than 10% of adults in Edinburgh say they've been a victim of any crime. Only 16% said they had experienced crime in some form. Almost 90% of people living in the capital city generally felt safe. Less than half of the residents of Edinburgh say they ever knew someone who has been the victim of a crime, and most of those crimes are home break-ins. The crime situation is so bad that in some other cities in the UK, the nearly 25% said they've either moved or considered changing cities in order to feel more secure. Summing all the responses together, 82% of them said their home was a safe place to live. 90% generally felt safe most of the time. As far as crime is concerned, there's no other big city in the UK that has such a favourable crime situation. Security in Edinburgh if you're in a very big emergency requiring urgent attention from the police, fire service or an ambulance, just dial 999. You will be assisted immediately. But if you definitely need police and it's not super urgent, you can dial 101. The city has a responsive police team that can be depended on with a measure of rest of mind. Edinburgh Police Division is under the area covered by Edinburgh City Council. It's made up of the four area commands, with officers from each command working across the boundary to ensure that no area is overlooked or unduly exposed. These officers work in collaboration with environmental wardens, taxi marshals, licensing standards officers, street assistants and street pastors for assistance in ensuring that people have great weekends and get home safely. Of course, there are highly trained uniformed police officers in the division that consists of response officers. Seeing these men in charge of security in action, you couldn't help but appreciate the good service they're rendering for the people. And you would understand why Edinburgh is considered to be the best city to live in in the UK. Health Programme in Edinburgh In addition to the uniqueness of medical services in the entire UK, Edinburgh's medical services have some characteristics that make it a city safe to live in and be healthy. 
All doctors, hospitals and pharmacies, nurses and paramedics in Edinburgh are licensed by or under the UK medical licensing authorities. Therefore, you don't have to worry about who's attending to your medical needs or how reputable they are. They're all to be trusted. If you need to see a doctor in Edinburgh, it's a relatively easy thing. Assuming you're not yet enrolled in any health scheme, three options are available for you. Call the helpline or emergency number. Or you can as well ask a pharmacist at a store to recommend a doctor. And finally, you can get the information from the medical section of your work or school. And if you're currently under medication, it's quite easy to locate pharmacies in Edinburgh. You don't need to walk far to find one. The interesting thing about the city is that there are pharmacy sections with full pharmacy status inside large grocery stores. You can rest assured that your health is safe as Edinburgh maintains the UK's strict pharmacy regulations. That doesn't mean, however, that you can't buy pain relievers, allergy remedies, cough syrups and other OTC drugs in Edinburgh. Terrorism and criminality in Edinburgh Here's another reason Edinburgh's voted the best city to live in the UK. There have been both attempted and successful terrorist attacks throughout Western Europe over the last few years. The UK hasn't been spared, if not the main target of some of those attacks. But here's the question. When last did you hear of a successful attack in Edinburgh? In fact, aspiring terrorists have been convicted even before they're able to actualize their dream. The chance of any terrorist attack happening in the city is extremely low, as the authorities in Scotland, UK, closely monitor intelligence systems to prevent any such attack. The only thing you should be aware of regarding criminality in Edinburgh is cyber attacks and scams. Since this is not a physical battle and can be launched from anywhere, remotely, it can be a little difficult to avoid. Common sense dictates that some cautions are in order. However, that isn't a huge problem. People resort to begging rather than committing crimes. Thus, when you're accosted by beggars, don't panic, as these won't cause any problems for you. If you have money with you, give them whatever you can afford. Otherwise, offer them food or drink, or simply ignore them. Natural Disasters in Edinburgh A city with very low records of natural disasters should be examined as a possible safest place to live. When you compare natural disasters in the United Kingdom with that of the United States, it's easy to conclude that Britain is safe, as it rarely suffers from huge natural disasters. However, flooding is fairly common since it can rain throughout the year in the UK. Still, the case in Edinburgh is different. Rains and consequent flooding can be predictable, and they're not so much disruptive or destructive. That's about the only natural disaster you can expect in Edinburgh. Raising family in Edinburgh Is Edinburgh safe enough for you to raise a family? Yes. The UK's tradition of focusing on the family as a very family-friendly country is more conspicuous in Edinburgh. If you visit the city during holidays, such as Edinburgh's International Children's Festival, you'd love to raise your family there. The children are bouncing and skipping about carefreely in a very safe environment. This family safety and communalism that permeates the city is not limited to festive periods. There are always plenty of Edinburgh events and attractions designed to keep kids safe, relaxed and entertained. An example is the castle's cannon fires every day at 1pm. At the National Museum of Scotland, sandy beaches and other places including the Fort Douglas Adventure Park, parents leave their kids all alone to enjoy themselves. Everyone in local communities keeps an eye on the welfare of one another in the city, as they're friendly and helpful. It's very rare for anyone to harass your family in Edinburgh. If you move to Edinburgh with your kids, keeping them safe can never pose a problem, just as keeping them entertained. Final note. Edinburgh is certainly a city in the United Kingdom that has been endowed with rich culture and tradition. As I've highlighted in this video, anyone looking for opportunities for a better living may want to consider Edinburgh's quality of life. You may first visit to confirm what has been said here. You'll surely agree with the intelligent minds that rank Edinburgh the best city to live in in the United Kingdom. Thank you for watching this video, and don't forget to subscribe, comment, and turn on the notification bell.